Hey everybody, alright, so we've got Pest 13 yet again, and I just wanted to uh, show you guys how I'm doing this um, from the beginning uh, to the end, basically, the edited gameplay and using Janky's tool. Um, right now I'm just uh, setting up a game uh, on default gameplay, uh, kind of after the, the match between Tottenham and, and Man U today, um, so I'm definitely just trying to... Uh, see if we can um, see a big difference um, trying to combine everything I've put in the previous videos to, together all in one here so I do apologize if this is a little bit longer than most videos if anybody wants to know I'm just using the pest edit patch um, and I'll make sure I put credits and everything at the in the video but um, and then the, the turf are by Dr. Haney uh, from Evo Web. And then I've got my own uh, edited smoother turf that uh, is on modding way from PES 12 and it works with PES 13. So, uh, broadcasting camera. This is, remember, I'm not using Junkie's tool on this. This is the default gameplay. If you guys are see right away um, the gameplay definitely looks just kind of more open of course this is Manchester United so you know they're definitely a, um, a better pressing team than most um, but still on default gameplay it, it still feels um, pretty wide open look like this right here you know right away getting a shot get another shot I mean it feels nice you know like it's it's fun to see how open the game is um, but you know, that's just something that's that's gonna not gonna bode much realism, so to speak. Because even though the game was uh, is definitely can be wide open, this is not cool. You know, if you guys play on default, you got um, nothing but through passes as a, you know as the computer's main source of attack. And you know, like I said, I've been the whole idea of the edited gameplay and everything else. Um, We've got a great base here with PES 13, and so, you know, there's some things that just are just preventing it from being incredible, but so ever since finding the, um, you know, the will to edit the, the gameplay through stats, and here's another through ball, um, this one actually leads to the goal, um, you know, I think that's a big thing that a lot of people are frustrated with, is just the deflections and the through passes, um, if I could show you a better example, unfortunately, if you notice there, if you were to pause the video, so to speak, you'd notice that the the defensive line is just so straight, and so all the attacker has to do is just peel off, and you know the defenders don't stay goal side, or they might stay too much goal side, and these through balls are just very, very simple. Anyways, anyway, as I was uh, was saying before, we are um, you know definitely. A, lucky to have a great uh, PES 13 this year. It's a good base um, and just there are a couple things that needed to be changed. Um, like anything I do from sliders and NCAA football and, and Madden or whatever to editing gameplay in PES, I always do it for myself first to see how I would enjoy it. And then I know always the communities, you know, I see a lot of people complaining and not doing anything about it. Well, you know, this is how we do something about it. And this is just, uh, you know, what I thought. So the next video uh, coming up after this one, I'm just going to show you. Actually, it's going to be within the same clip. This is how you uh, do everything. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and go through the guide. Uh, first thing you're going to do is download the PES 13 editor by clicking on that link. Of course, I already downloaded it, so I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, make sure to back up your file. So I'm going to go to my documents. Um, within my documents, like Konami, I already made a save folder um, for my backups. But this is me actually putting in, you know, the most recent PES edit uh, option file and modifying it. So um, this is the first time I've done it because I was waiting on downloading them earlier today. So. 
So now that that's done, we're going to open Pest Editor. And sorry I don't have the mouse cursor on. When I was recording, I completely forgot about it. So I apologize for that. But I'm sure you guys can figure it out. If you're watching this, you're probably computer savvy as is. Um, you know, I'd love to help the console guys out. It's pretty much cut and dry. You'd probably be doing a lot more editing than, than us uh, PC guys with the incredible Pest Editor by Wild and company. So first option uh, is go to the uh, team style so you see there the first one we're gonna select is pressing all teams to 100 and hit apply and this is gonna increase that uh, you know that pressure and remember guys the 100 is is an you know a maximum um, obviously but it's all it's not required you don't have to hit all these numbers um, you know I understand people are playing a 70 and 75 I might even do the same but when you see something as open as you did in the last video or you know last clip you want to go to the extreme to find out you know where the happy medium is and so this is all my videos are that I've showed you so far so I've been focusing on on the max of everything the next value, I kind of went out of order here, but is the attack. This is probably the most important value, which is also unfortunate for consoles um, players because this makes the biggest difference in the world. This this makes it where your attacker is not going to try to take on five guys at once, or the computer attacker is not going to take on you know so many people at once. They're going to you know slow down the play, get some build up going. Defensive line value uh, 100 is also I, I like to keep it high. It also allows the the um, the center backs from um, preventing themselves. If you notice here, there's the differences showing on the bottom, those last three right there. But it prevents the center backs from completely, you know, dropping into the box. Remember Pest 12, how the default they dropped so far into the box that they would follow the the man they were marking all the way into the 18-yard box. It was completely unrealistic, and so. Um, that's why I have defensive line so high. But like I said, I say between the values of 70 to 100, work with that and see, you know, see what um, what comes up. Because you know, there's a lot of wide open play in many leagues. Um, you know, this type of pressure is probably most closer to the Premiership. Um, probably a little bit of, uh, extreme as well on my part. But like I said, this is to show a difference. Um, I haven't started my Master League yet because I'm still tweaking some things. So I'm trying to make sure all this works. I can confirm this does work in Master League, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. So the next step, we're going to download Jenki's gameplay tool. Um, Jenki is just an incredible creating this tool for all of us. Um, I'm going to open it up um, while his... Uh, goes to the next uh, page there. So this is uh, Jenki's uh, website. Just click on that download and you'll get the, the gameplay tool. So here I have it already. I'm just going to open it up. The main thing we want to do is, um, if you've never used this tool, it's very simple. Um, just make sure to go find your, your PEST 2013 executable. Attach it. It'll say it's attached. And then just kind of run down um, you know everything I make sure you know this is all definitely to user preference um, for the first part is the, the sound setting alone is pretty incredible he's also got the lot of the level of detail on here that kit server also has which is fantastic now this is the big part with the, with the gameplay I have shot power at 104 ball speed 110 ball weight 83 and then AI level 2 and then enable uh, level slider and balance so those are definitely uh, important as well camera I've got it at point two on the height so on broadcasting it's a little higher so I dropped it down just a bit more um, and I'll explain uh, those gameplay values as I kind of went that through that a bit quick um, and so the, mo the most important part and here's just kind of into a game and if you notice right away of how congested it is and how incredible the, uh, the pressure is And you notice the through ball is just not there right now for, for Man U like it was before. Um, I want to show you my settings as well because some people had questions about that. I'm f pretty much full manual except for manual shooting. I need practice there. Um, but the main thing is teammates are assisted. Um, I have clearance set to auto as well. So it also kind of helps you know prevent some of those through balls from getting through. It's really nice. As you can tell, like I said, this is pretty extreme as the pressing and everything, but at the same time, it's to show to uh, prove a point. 
Uh, this definitely makes a big difference. This definitely feels more how the game should be played. There's, you know, chances for errors right there. Um, just makes the players more human is the best way I could put it. And, you know, their thirst, their hunger for the ball is just just there. And, and you can notice by the amount of fouls given up and everything here. Um, it's just a good good overall experience with the way this is set up. But I do want to mention um, the shot power is 104. I love that Jenky put that in. Because if you notice when the the, um, the keepers, they like to um, parry the ball away. And it usually will go for a corner or to the sides. Um, on default, you know, it goes like straight into the path of an attacker or somebody running onto it. So with shot power that high, it actually gives more of a chance of the, the keeper to parry the ball away more realistically. So I love that. That's why I have it at 104. Um, 83 ball weight is just kind of to remove the, the floatiness of the ball. Um, I was, I'm was i still tinkering with that one too, to be honest with you, but it's, um, you know, it, it's a win-win either way, no matter what you really select. And here's a kind of a, a good opportunity there. Um, let me kind of just watch this unfold. And see, the main thing with the, the pressing is a little high, which is why I kind of get caught out of line, and so... Um, that's probably why I'm running into some issues at times, but that's okay. Um, that thirst for the ball is definitely there on both sides. And see the pressing on the other side also works the same way for the computer. So it does open the game up just a bit, but at the same time it controls it to the point where it's not so unrealistic like it's an arcade game. Um, if that's a, the best way I can put it. I've played FIFA 13 recently and man, I just... I don't know where EA is going with their game, but you know, you guys know me, I, I'm definitely open to play whatever game that's going to best represent the sport I love. So, PES 13 with these edits and Janky's, um, Janky's gameplay tool, PES edit patch, um, and everything, it's just, just fantastic. I can't wait to start um, my Master League and uh, hopefully continue on. This is a good chance by Dempsey. But that's about it, guys. So have a good one. Any questions, feel free. Rate, comment, subscribe. Take care. I'll leave you with, uh, with the music here.